give thanks unto the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. God bless you and we thank God for you and once again greet you from the sanctuary the St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church located at 3630 Platte Road in the city of Ann Arbor, Michigan. And we're here once again just to tell you that God is a good God. Yes, he is. And he's able yes. to do anything, anything, anything. but fail. Yes, sir. God bless you. Thank you for joining us once again on this third Sunday of November, this Sunday before Thanksgiving. And certainly despite all that's going on in our lives and in this crazy, crazy world, we still have so much, yes, so, much so much, the songwriter said, to be thankful yes, for. Let us go into our service now beginning with the scripture reading from the epistle of Philippians. Philippians, the third chapter. Philippians chapter three. Philippians chapter three. Philippians chapter 3, and I'll begin reading at the first verse. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh. If any other man thinketh that he hath whereof, he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee. Concerning zeal, Persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made comfortable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the righteousness of 
the day. The word of the Lord is truly, truly blessed. Amen. Amen.
holding it up. Amen. Thank Amen. You. Amen. Thank Father you. alone. Mm-hmm. We don't understand a lot of things right now, church. Yes. As we look around mm-hmm. this crazy, crazy world. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Crazy people. Mm-hmm. People that don't know the Lord Jesus. Mm-hmm. Their Lord and Savior. We'll understand it. Oh, yes. By and by. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. We will understand it. God's yes. word is true. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank God for Sister Muss and Brother, Brother CJ on the keys. This yes. Stay. Tapping it a little while, ain't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doing all right. We got to hear him a little more on on the keys. I didn't know he could play the piano. All right. Amen. We we love the organ, but that sounded all right, didn't it? It's all right. Mm -hmm. Old school church, amen. Mm -hmm. That that may not make you rock and jump and shout. Well, it should if you're listening to what it says. But but it'll put meat on your bones. Yes, it will. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We're going to... Prepare our hearts and mind for prayer. Uh, we have an extended uh, prayer list. Just bear with me uh, today. Um, we want you to, of course, be mindful of all those that continue to be on our prayer list. Um, our sick and shut in. Um, as you know, uh, Mother Marshall uh, has been hospitalized. And as I uh, speak to you today, uh, we anticipated her uh, going home. But she will be at home, but she will be in hospice care. And so that ought to tell you something about her condition. So we just ask you to pray for her. Amen. Uh, we know uh, with everything going on, we're not asking anybody to go see her, but just to pray for her. Yes. Amen. 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 God, God knows what's going on. Yes. And all he asks us to do is just pray anyway. Yes. Amen. Amen. He knows what he's going to do. But pray for Mother. Uh, on Thursday, she celebrated 106 years yes. of life. Amen. 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 And, and I know that was a goal that she wanted to attain. And, uh, but we're, we're not going to believe that she's finished. Amen. Amen. We're going to believe God for her Thank healing. You, Amen. Amen. And asking God to do a miracle in her life and in her body. So pray for Mother Marshall. Continue to pray for Mother Marzetta Moore. Uh, also uh, praying for Deacon Simon Hargrove, Sister Mildora Ligon. Uh, continue to be shut in. Uh, we ask you to pray also uh, for those who have lost loved ones. Yes. We'll be celebrating their first uh, Thanksgiving without uh, their loved one. Uh, Sister Myra Williams, uh, uh, who lost her mother, uh, recently funeralized her mother. Uh, pray for Myra and her family, for her daughter Layla, her husband, Deacon Gordon Williams, and the entire family. Uh, we ask you also to continue to pray for the Campbell family, yes. uh, Sister Kim and uh, Sister Jackie and that entire family. Also, uh, Catherine Drumright yes. and her family, continue yes. to pray for them. Uh, the Hargrove family, continue to pray for them. Uh, the Harris family, of uh, Mother Gladys Harris, uh, and uh, uh, the Mitchell family in North Carolina, my wife's family. Uh, all celebrating this first Thanksgiving without their loved one, especially without mother, uh, in Campbell's uh, case, without dad, uh, the first Thanksgiving. So lift them up in prayer as you go to the throne of grace. Uh, we have prayer requests. Deacon Williams uh, has asked that we pray uh, for his wife, uh, Sister Myra, the loss of her mother, that God will continue to comfort her. Oh, comfort her. God would continue to comfort her. Uh, he's also asking prayer 
or Lisa Williams, his sister who has an, who had eye surgery um, on last Thursday. So lift those up in prayer, please. Don't forget those names as you uh, go to God in prayer for yourself. Uh, remember, we've learned that uh, part of our prayers intercessory prayer. Amen. We not only pray for ourselves, but we pray for others. Amen. Let us go to the throne of grace. Our Father and our God, Lord, how we love you tonight, today, and we love you uh, so much, oh God. And we just are so thankful, Lord, as we approach this Thanksgiving for uh, the year 2020, Lord. We're just thankful uh, just for the fact that you are God and that you are God and that we have access to you, that you said in your word that no matter what we're going through, no matter what we've done, no matter how low we sunk, that we could come to your throne of grace and there we would find mercy. And, oh God, as we come now, before we ask you for anything, Lord, we ask you to have mercy. Mercy, Lord. Please have mercy on us, Lord. Yes. Forgive us Please. for our sins, yes. oh God. Yes. Yes. For our disobedience, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we come humble as we know how. Oh God, just stretching out our hand to you, Lord. Asking you, Lord, to now put your word in our hearts that we may never again sin against you, Lord, that we will be an obedient people. Yes. Even as we think about this Thanksgiving, Lord, we, we, we are to want to be obedient. We are to want to be a people, Lord, that obey you, Lord, because as we look back over our lives, Lord, we realize that you've been good to yes, us. Yes, Lord, Lord. mighty good, Lord. Oh, God, you've been yes. good to us. Thank you, better Lord. to us than old folks said as we could ever be to ourselves. But yes. It's so true, Lord, that we don't even know how to treat ourselves, Lord, but you do, oh yes, God. Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Mercy, Lord. In the name mercy, of Jesus, Lord. Lord. Bless us and touch us, Lord, yes. and anoint us. Surround us, Lord. Oh, Lord, with your love in the name of Jesus. We need you today, oh, God. We need you. This world needs you. Our country needs you. Our people need you. Our families need you. Our community, we need you, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, help us. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us, oh, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, what would we do without you, Lord? No, we're hard-headed, Lord, and hard-hearted sometimes, oh God. Oh Lord, if you would just touch us. Help us. I know you've done so much for us already, Lord. That we ought to be motivated and it shouldn't be so hard for us to live for you. But Lord, it is. This is a hard world. We need you closer and closer. Help us to grow. Us now. To have more of you and more of you. Yes, yes, Lord. We realize no matter how churchy we think we are, how much Bible we think we read, Lord, we well, how many times we prayed, Lord, we realize we need more of you yes, today. Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. We need more of you. Right now in the name of Jesus. Coming to each and every home represented by the sound of my voice right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. Each and every member of St. Paul Missionary and Baptist Church, each and every family, our young people, our yes. senior citizens, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, draw near to each and every one of yes. us. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Bless all of our families. We approach this Thanksgiving day. Many will be without family, Lord, but that's okay. As long as you're there, yes, Lord. we'll be all right. Yes, Lord. Give us the strength, Lord, to do what is right for the safety and health of all. 
Let us not be selfish, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless us now, Lord. Our politicians are fighting a war, Lord. O oh Lord, intervene. It be your will, Lord. If not, just give us the patience, O oh God. Help us to help them. Pray them, pray their way through. In the name of Jesus, that they will lead thy people in the way that is right. Bless us all now, Lord. We're talking about shutdowns, Lord, but you never shut down. Thank you, Lord, that you're Thank always you. yes. open. Yes, Lord. Oh, no virus will shut you down. You're God. Yes. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, Lord, whatever happens, Lord, we're not worrying because we know you're in charge. Yes, you are. You're in control. Yes, Thank you, Lord. But your spirit in us, Lord, a spirit of patience and long-suffering, no matter what the cost, Lord, that we would do what is right, we will obey your word. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, as we go further into this service, we pray for many, Lord, and ask your blessings on those who have a Thanksgiving without their loved one for the first time. Oh, God, let your spirit rest in all of those families, in all of those gatherings, wherever they are. We rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Yes. We rebuke the virus in the name of Jesus. Yes. Keep everyone safe in your loving arms. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For hearing and answering this prayer. Bless this service. We go forth. Let your word go forth and not come back. Let it accomplish its mission. That somebody, yes. somebody, yes. somewhere, yes. Lord, yes. heart might be touched yes. Touch now. and might claim you today yes. as their one and only Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Two passages of Scripture. And before you start huffing and puffing, they're both really short. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, the text will come from the sixth chapter of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah 6. And... The context will be from the New Testament book of Hebrews, chapter 12. We'll read that last. Isaiah 6, Hebrews 12. I think I... Uh, forgot, well I know I forgot to mention um, in the prayer uh, request I ask you to pray for our own brother David Moore uh, who lost his girlfriend this past week. Sister Ethel Miles passed away and uh, had been uh, uh, his girlfriend for almost 20 years. Mm. And so I pray for Brother David and the family of Sister Ethel Miles. Isaiah 6, Hebrews 12. Isaiah 6, beginning at verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, 
and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face. With two he covered his feet. With two he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Hebrews 12. Beginning at verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. Yeah. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is down at the right hand of the throne of God. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thank God for you. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne. Subject, something has to die. Something has to die. Something has to die. If I were to make a list of quotable passages by the prophet Isaiah, maybe at the top, of the list would have to be his statement found in the 55th chapter of his writings concerning the motives and the movements of God. Over there Isaiah says to us that God's ways are not our ways and God's thoughts are not our thoughts. Well, it would seem as though this prophet is attempting to warn us that any attempt on our part to comprehend an infinite God with our finite minds would prove to be futile. Uh, maybe it was this musing of Isaiah that inspired the Apostle Paul to record later in church history that as one seeks salvation, do not attempt to hitchhike to heaven, that is, to bring Christ down from above, or spend an inordinate amount of time in search of that which is profound, or, or as we like to say, deep. That is, to bring Christ again from the dead. Because salvation, as with all things pertaining to Christ, is beyond human effort and ingenuity. Y'all going to pray with me? Yeah. I, I, I share this all as a means of preparing you for my text statement. And that is that God utilizes some strange ways to bring about desired results. Okay. Our desire? Huh, of course not. God's desire. God's desire. Yeah. Perfect case in point is the chosen text. It, it is beyond our human reasoning for us to believe that death somehow brings about Deliverance. Oh, come on, let's be real about it. 
I, I mean, we like to sing oh, all these good old songs about flying away, but none of us is rushing to the ticket counter. Amen. 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 Uh, and no one is going online looking for a cheap ticket to heaven. No. In, in spite of what all of our songs say, in spite of all of our praise reports, in spite of all of our religious jargon that says death is simply a door that one must enter through to get to heaven, the truth is that we tend to see death as final. Yes. Mm. Right. Uh, almost, it's a, it, it's a sense of defeat. Mm. Uh, we, we even say with, with those who, who have gone on that they lost the mm. battle mm -hmm. when they pass on. They lost that battle with cancer. Uh, they're, they're saying so much now about uh, Brother uh, Jeopardy. Uh, I can't think of his name, but uh, Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. Yes. He, 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 had, he fought and he lost. When he died, he lost uh, the battle. Uh, and so this is how we tend to think about Death. Death says to us, you lose. You lost, yeah. And yet the text, uh, this text in Isaiah suggested in the case of the prophet Isaiah, great rewards were reaped as a result mm -hmm. of a death. And, and what I want to suggest to you today is that maybe we too could experience some sense of deliverance, mm -hmm. some sense of reward, if only some things were put to death in our lives. Right, right, Y'all right. gonna pray with me? <laughs> in the year that King Uzziah died. Uh -huh. What we have here is more than just a date. It's an experience in the life of this prophet. Who is this Uzziah? Well, church history reveals that of all the kings of Israel, none has done as much for the nation as Uzziah, with maybe the exception of David. Uzziah came to the throne as a mere child of 16 years old. Yet most biblical scholars agree that for more than 50 years, he ruled Jerusalem wisely and well. When the Philistines encroached upon Israel's domain, King Uzziah successfully drove them back. It was this type of military exploit that caused his name to be spread abroad, even over into Egypt. Bible reveals that he busied himself seeing after the welfare of the people. All right. He strengthened Jerusalem with fortified towers for the protection of those in the pastures and in the plains. Mm. Well, just say out in the country. Mm. He looked, he took care of everybody. All right. Mindful of the water supply. He dug many wells and cisterns. In other words, Uzziah was associated with, with all that was beneficial and prosperous in Israel. Mm -hmm. But, but, that simple little conjunction mm -hmm. that has developed quite the reputation for changing stories. <laughs> Second Chronicles, and you can read all about Uzziah in Second Chronicles 26, uh, all that I've just told you and even a little more. But the 16th verse records, but when he, Uzziah, was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. Another translation says, his pride led to his 
downfall. Well, what happened? Well, you can read all about it over there, but there came a day, and it was probably at one of the high festivals, when, when he made a feast for the captains for, for their victories. And the power of wine and flattery prompted him to a deed that was his ruin. See what happened when, when you drink? <laughs> Eating the king. What happened when you get full of it? Woo. It, 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 it? Arrayed in all his splendor, Uzziah came to the temple and demanded. Now he's drunk now in his pride <laughs> to usurp or overrule the authority of the priest and to burn incense at the altar, my Lord. Now, you, you, you said, well, okay, he just burned a candle. Wait a minute. This was not just burning a candle. Mm -hmm. But this had much more to do with order and obedience. God's order and obedience to God's word. Mm -hmm. It was God, not man, who gave the instruction for who could enter into the holy of holies. All right. Now you go, go back and read about that in Exodus and, and, and Leviticus. Mm -hmm. About all, all the rules that God gave them for, for the tabernacle. Mm. But, but in his drunken, prideful state, mm. wow. hey man, on, it man. was not man that Uzziah bucked against, but rather it was against wow. God. Oh, my God. Come on, Pastor. And as you will soon see, if you don't already know, church, when you buck against God, mm. when you buck against God's program, mm. there's a price to be paid. Don't pay it. Got to. Mm. I tell you, go read it for yourself, but, but the text over in Second Chronicle records that suddenly uh, on his face, flushed in his anger uh, with the priest, under the royal crown, spread a ghastly whiteness. God had smitten him, a king no more, but rather one from whom all now turned away from. Wow. No one, no more to be called King Uzziah, but rather the cry went forth, he's a leper. Oh, wow. No longer is he that which is to be honored and revealed, but rather now to be ostracized yeah. and castigated. Somebody should have told him. <laughs> Somebody out to tell <laughs> some of you out there, Uzziah, your arms are too short to box with God. Well, what does this have to do with Isaiah? There are those that speculate that perhaps this young prophet was so caught up and enamored with King Uzziah that he came to the premature conclusion that the name or the person of Uzziah was synonymous with power. Maybe his fascination with Uzziah was of such a nature that this natural king was prohibiting him from seeing the king of kings. Wow. Oh, let us not forget God is a jealous God. Mm. Amen. Yes, he is. And if we allow anything or anybody to keep us from seeing God, mm -hmm. then we got a problem. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And, and God is a problem solver. Yes, he is. How does God solve it? Mm. He'll remove the hindrance. Mm. Thank Amen. You, now, for some, this may explain to some 
the sudden disappearance of certain folk and properties. Amen. God, God accepts a great many things from us, church. He, he puts up with, with so much of our yeah. mess. But to give somebody else or something else God's credit or God's glory and God's praise, God's honor. Oh, I believe it's too much for even a patient God. So God says to us, anything that keeps us from seeing him, put it to death. Well... Somebody uh, uh, right now, you ought to. Somebody out there ought to be asking themselves, or maybe all of us ought to be asking ourselves right now, Lord, what is it? What is it in my life that I need to put to death? What is it that's keeping me, me from seeing you? What is it? It needs to die in my life. Because I'm here as a witness to tell you that something, 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 something. needs to die. Don't die. Yeah. In the year the king Uzziah died, mm -hmm. Isaiah said, I saw, I saw the Lord. Yes. <laughs> Isn't this all right? That's all right. Oh man, I got excited just, just getting this going. I, I got happy. Amen. Lord, what needs to die? Mm. The year the king was, was out there. Why death, though? Mm. Why, why did it take death? Death is such a dark and dreaded thing. Why would a God of life and light choose death as the means of bringing about Deliverance. Well, one of the things we must understand about God is God's consistency. Nothing about him changes. He's immutable. God's not a respecter of persons. Therefore, God's motives and methods, God's patterns and processes uh, must also be free of preference in favor. Why death? Hmm. Because death is not a respecter. Amen. Amen. Death is the common denominator yes. of all mm -hmm. creation. Yes. Amen. Oh, death, death can bring about an end to the rich and to the poor. Amen. The young and the old. And the old. Yes. The learned and the unlearned. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. What happened uh, to a humble black Baptist preacher by the name of King who came to stand with the, with the underrated, the underrepresented, and the, uh, the undercompensated? He died. Mm -hmm. What happened to Mayor Coleman Young, perhaps the most notorious of political bosses in Detroit's history, he died. Yeah, he did. Death, how this one word suffices for all, for all sorts and conditions of people. When God sought out an equalizer, something that did not mind clearing the way for God to be seen. Death cried out, send me. I'll go. <laughs> Our Uzziahs have to die in order that we may see that God lives. What's the Uzziah in your life today? Away with these little kings in order that we might see the King of Glory. Yes, sir. Who is this King of Glory? All right. The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, 
mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. In the year the king Uzziah died, mm -hmm. I saw the Lord. Yes. Isaiah says that after Uzziah died, he, he, he still saw the same stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Still saw him acting crazy up in D.C. and down in Georgia and in Alabama and counting the vote. He, he still saw the CNN and the Fox News and he still saw the yes. gang banging, the killing going on, but he saw something else. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> oh, he saw something else. In addition, he said, I saw the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I would imagine uh, after the death uh, of the king, uh, little, K, little K, he, he anticipated <laughs> chaos. Uh -huh. But instead of chaos, he, he saw the God of order. Hmm. Uh, somebody is saying, what will Israel do without Uzziah? I don't know. What will I do when mom and daddy are gone? What, hmm. what will I do when brother and sister are gone? What will I do? Hmm. The pastor is gone. Year King Uzziah died. Mm -hmm. Saw the Lord. I anticipated the end, but instead I found a new beginning. Yes, yes I saw the old stuff, mm -hmm. but I saw something new. Yeah. I saw the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, when you give your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. You'll still see some of the same stuff going on. Yes, yes. There isn't going to be no magical transformation of the world mm -hmm. and of life and, and as the conditions even that you have to face every day on your job or in your family or at your school. It's still going to be the same old stuff. Yes. But my prayer is that you'll be able to say it when you do. Uh, yeah, I see all this. I see poverty. Yes. I see famine. I see war. Mm -hmm. I see confusion. I see pestilence. Mm -hmm. I see disease. I, I, I see the pandemic. I, mm -hmm. I still see the hustling and, yes. and I still see crime. I, I see death and, mm -hmm. and I see disaster. But that's not all I see. Mm -hmm. Because in the midst of it all, mm -hmm. I see also the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the year. <laughs> Heartaches and headaches, mm -hmm. sadness and sorrow, mm -hmm. wondering and worrying, tossing and turning, mm -hmm. weeping and wailing, mm -hmm. fussing and fretting, cussing and clowning. Mm -hmm. Isaiah died, yeah. Yeah. and I saw the Lord, hallelujah, yeah. lifted high mm -hmm. <laughs> in the year. Yeah. The king of Zion died. I yes, saw sir. the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Oh, is there any of yes. in your life? Yes. Something mm. needs to die. Mm. Something needs to die. Yes. Yes. Something needs to be put to death. Yes, Lord. Unforgiveness mm. needs mm. to die. Mm. Mm. Yes. Egos need to die. Bad attitudes. Anger needs to die. In the year the king was I died, I saw the Lord. Church something needs to die. God bless you today. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Yes, sir. May the Lord keep you is my prayer.
Jesus. I don't want to see him, know him, just know him. Hallelujah, we want to see him. Amen. 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 But before we can see him, something has to die. We need to put to death anything that is blocking our view of Jesus. Amen. 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 Let us do that fervent prayer. Ask God to remove the obstacles in our life, whether they be, whether they say animate or inanimate. Let them take them away. That we might look to Jesus the author and finisher of our faith for the joy set before him endured the cross despised the shame and is now he sat down at the right hand of God intervening for us those who can see him there amen amen, amen. amen. God bless you we thank God for you God, for all of you who have joined us today, whether you're members of our church family or not, we just thank God for you, for you and hope that you have received the blessing, as I believe you have. God's word is true, and we know it's true. Yes. Amen. Uh, I do uh, ask you to tune in. We will not have Thanksgiving service. But I will have a Thanksgiving message for the church. Uh, if you tune in on Thanksgiving morning at 9 o'clock, uh, there will be a short message there. It won't be long. Don't worry. You can, even while you got some cooking, you can turn it on and, and uh, your stuff won't burn. Amen. Before it's over. Uh, but we will have a short message for you. So. Come on, same way you come on every Sunday. Uh, we'll have a, just a short message, not a service, but uh, a short message for you on this Thanksgiving Day. I, I just feel we should always tune in to God on Thanksgiving. Uh, no matter what else is going on, no matter how else we're celebrating, we ought to at least touch base and let the Lord know how thankful we are just to be alive on this Thanksgiving 2020. Amen. 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 Remember all those names in prayer uh, that were called off. And we'll, we'll probably get them up also on the website. Remember them in prayer as you go to God in prayer. Uh, pray in intercessory prayer for all those uh, names that were called off and all those who are on our prayer list. To be. Remember Mother Marshall, especially yes. uh, now. God bless you. Be safe. Uh, I ain't got to tell you. I know you've been tuned in. You know this virus ain't no joke. And Amen. it's really, uh, even in our own neighborhood and community, it's starting to strike with vengeance. So please be careful celebration of Thanksgiving, whatever you're planning. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. You're going to do what you want to do. But just please, uh, for God's sake, for my sake, be be safe. Be careful. Amen. 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 God bless you. I thank God for uh, all those who joined me once again in the sanctuary. Get this service going. Sister Munson, who has uh, song for us today. Uh, Deacon Williams is a technical person doing the camera and Brother CJ is on the piano Brother Michael Cox on the drums. Amen. Thank God for all of them. Thank God for all of you. Let us look to the Lord in benediction and also remember there's no Bible study this week. No Bible study. We will resume Bible study uh, a week from this coming Tuesday. December 1st at 7 o'clock via the Skype. Uh, and, uh, 
some of you who haven't joined us on Skype. And also by then, I should have uh, some more definite information uh, about when we're coming back into our building or not. Amen. Amen. Let us look to the Lord. Father, we thank you now uh, for all that has been done. And we pray, Lord, that it has been pleasing in your sight. Thank you, Lord, for all those who gather here uh, every week, Lord, to make sure this service goes out uh, to the church. Uh, we ask blessings on Sister Munson, her family, Deacon Williams, his family, Brother CJ, his family, Brother Michael Cox, his family, Sister Vivian Ward, who couldn't be here today, and also her family. I also pray for her husband, uh, Brother Greg, who's recovering from back surgery. Bless us all, O oh God, now as we prepare for this Thanksgiving Day. Uh, in the midst of this uh, coronavirus, Lord, let us be safe, Lord. Let us tend not to uh, try to step out on our own egos. But Lord, let us uh, take the high road, O oh God, uh, to be concerned for our family, community and our loved ones in the name of Jesus. Oh God, bless us all now. We thank you now as we approach this Thanksgiving. We're thankful for all of your blessings. For we realize if it had not been for you on our side, oh God, where would we be? No matter what we're going through, oh God, we nevertheless could say God's been good. In the name of Jesus. Now when we go from this place, from this service, oh God, may the grace of God, the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion and fellowship of His Holy Spirit may rest, rule, and abide in each and every one of us, henceforth, now, and forever. Let everybody say, Amen. Amen, and God bless you. Be safe. Be safe is my prayer.